Hello, my name is Marie, I'm one of the final year medical students. Would I be able to confirm your name and date of birth, please? Sure, so it's Harvey Thompson, he's born on the 10th of May 1996. Okay, that's great. So, Harvey, I've been asked to do a hip examination on you today. So that will just involve me having a look at your hip, having a look at the way you walk, and then um, having a feel of the joint, and then asking you to do some movements. Is that alright with you? That's fine, yeah. That's great, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to um, inspect the hip joint. So in clinical practice, you'll expose the patient to their underwear so you're able to um, inspect properly. However, for the purpose of this video, we'll keep Harvey in shorts. So from the side, I'm going to be looking for any fixed flexion deformity. I would also look for any swellings, any scarring, and any deformities and any redness. Would you like to turn around for me, please? So I'd look for the same on this side, looking um, for fixed flexion deformity and for any scarring, any swellings, any deformities and any redness. Okay, so now we're going to do the trend down and test. Would you be able to put your hands on my shoulders for me, for balance? I'm just going to place my hands on your hips. I'm just going to ask you to lift your right leg and put your right leg down. And now lift your left leg. That's great, now left leg down. Thank you. Okay, so, um, at this point I would measure the true and apparent leg length. So the true leg length is from the asis to the medial malleolus and then the apparent leg length is from the zippy sternum up here to the medial malleolus again. So um, now I'm just going to assess the temperature. So check it on both sides. Great. So now I'm just going to um, palpate the hip. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do the right hip. So have a feel for the asis and for the greater trochanter. That's great. Any pain there at all? Not at all. Okay, great. Um, so now I'm just going to ask you to do some movements. That's all right. Would you be able to bring your leg up for me straight? That's great. And all the way down. And then would you be able to bring it out for me? And then bring it across over your other leg. That's great, thank you. So now I'm going to do those movements for you. If you just relax your leg for me and let me know if there's any pain at all. Okay. Any pain? No. Stabilising your hip. That's great. Can you just bend your leg for me? So now I'm doing... Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to do the Thomas test, which is a test for fixed flexion deformity. So I'm going to put my hand under the bottom of your back, and I'm going to ask you to raise your left leg for me, okay? Okay. So would you be able to raise your left leg for me? While he's doing this, I'm looking at the right leg to see if it's um, in fixed flexion. So this result would be normal, and if there was a fixed flexion deformity, it'd be like this. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for letting me examine you today, Harvey. No you can now get dressed. Thank you. So, um, on examination of Harvey's hip, it was completely normal and there was no pathology. Um, to complete my examination, I would like to examine the joint above and below, which would be the lumbar spine and the knee. I'd also like to do a full neurovascular examination of the lower limb and look at any available radiographs.